Welcome along everybody to the next commentary playthrough on the channel and today slightly later than planned we are starting Sea of Stars. The game came out at the time of recording a couple of days ago but again I was away on holiday as a game that I want to play comes out. But Sea of Stars there is a um, sort of a first impressions video on the channel for the demo that released. Still believe that the demo is still available. I played that on the PlayStation 5 and I know 100% this is also on Steam. Not sure about Xbox but hey don't have an Xbox so I can't confirm. Sea of Stars it's a RPG, um, almost like a pixelated RPG, um, ilk to the sort of the old school sort of um, Final Fantasies, the Chrono uh, Triggers, um, that sort of game. Let's get going. I'm going to go into the game. So it starts as two main characters. Select the one you will lead the party. This can change later and does not affect the story. You've got Valerie and Zale. Late dancer born of the summer solstice walks the path of the garden god Solon. A monk born of the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Lorna. Let's go for Valerie. Because there's a song there somewhere. Great archives. Welcome to the Great Archives Adventure. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait, to be sure. It looks like a Mumra. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. But perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloguing the many events of the countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for the resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Now, I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all the subtle variations, but I know just the one to make a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah yes, our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on the Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. And so it begins. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this from when it was announced. Mountain Trail. And I was getting um, vibes of uh, Dragon Quest XI. Right, we made it to the Mountain Trail. So far, so good. So. The Elder Mist lives here, somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it should be sitting at the academy. And swing! Aha! Yeah, I'm sure glad that was over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into, into it shall be your sole defence in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's spit up and search for a good spot. 
You've gone that way. Time for some scouting. Oh, I'm coming through. Ah, the battle system. This is what I love so much. So you've got an attack, and you see in the top right it says effect with a mallet. I think that is what the attack is. Vulnerable 10 damage. 12. And 11. Brew Graves wasn't kidding. These feel easy to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Okay, so we've got this. Jump, climb. Yep. That's where we want to go. Anything in here? No. Uh, and I think the enemies are on screen. So you can see them nicely. Oh. So I'm guessing that guy is going to come and attack us. Yep. Okay. Rochevra. 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 Every. Something like that. I think this is going to teach us about combos. Ouch! Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Gills Crescent Arc. This is what we remember. Okay, that's not what I... Valerie, found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over and we'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. There's some stuff. Press X to unroll the rope ladders. Okay. Nothing to grab. We're going to have to fight en route, probably. It's sort of looking for stuff to interact with here. A birdie. He doesn't want to deal with us. Wow, this guy went a long way. into a cave. Oh, wow. oh man, I'm just loving the art style. It's so good. I haven't played an RPG like this in many a year. Okay. Lust Slug. I think there is a, um, a moon rang. This is what I remember. But we'll just attack here. Yeah, you get to, if you push like the attack button, so I'm using the PlayStation controller, you use the X button just as you land, you get that double attack. I think that gives you magic damage, uh, magic recovery. Or something. We'll double, we'll play, well, look at that as we, as we go. All right, let's jump, interact here. Nope, jump, no birdie. Oh, we got another one. Are you? You've gone somewhere. But it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paring, paying attention in class or by actually attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah. That only one took once. Never miss those years. Poor training, just being kids. Always daydreaming and getting into trouble. Hmm. And making mistakes. 
I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. That we're still friends. Hmm. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Gal. Gal Vinland? Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were travelling historians to record it. No way! Sure is, and super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently, there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa! I want to see it too. Huh? It's the bell. Alina and Brewgraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Okay, what's this? That's the save point, right? Yeah. Children of the Solstice. Cool. Anything of note here? Nope. Let's climb. Guessing we need to head into here. I just want to explore actually, just you know, it could be a, a secret or something that we need to, to do. To tell you what this place is. Hey, wait. Okay. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training, and I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa. Come closer, Zell. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Every day, I bet I'm stronger than you now. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, easy now. I can't report you to the headmaster if I if you knock me out. <laughs> that was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go to... Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'd wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brewgraves. Hey, the full moon is out. Hmm? He's right. You want to go to the Forbidden Cave again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, the last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. Moraine will be so impressed. We'll take you two in for training right away. 
and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way! Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. Uh, forbidden cave, eh? It's just a well. Well, well. Some sparkly things here. the pub hope not getting into trouble again okay where do we think this moon cave is not here I'm guessing it's at the front but Remember, young ones, the celestial willow was a gift from the great eagle. Always treat it with respect. Okay. Let's head down. Let's go up then. Ah, yes. Another save. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not really adventuring if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Yeah. Nice toasted sandwich. Whoa, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the celestial willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Ha ha! Alright, how do I do this? Maybe, like, Alina showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. Oof. Oh. There we go. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Ah, I knew it! It worked! I did it. I finally did it! So, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It'll be our first adventure. Yeah, and then Harsman know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go! Forbidden Cavern. if there's anything I'm not expecting any sort of loot or anything because it is sort of a tutorial there's monsters over there let's hide I thought Evermist Island was safe I guess the only true the moon cradle we should go back they look dangerous yeah good call uh oh Watch out! There's another one! This is bad. We're surrounded! Maybe try to use your powers. We're not ready for this. I... I don't know. Just try! Okay, let me focus. Watch out! It's preparing something! 
Come on, come on. Valerie, watch out. Oh dear. Ah! No! Go! My eye! It really hurts. I, I can't see. Oh dear. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. So, it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, Gaul needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Gaul needs is not to concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Hmm. Be thankful that the only cost this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you're eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Is he literally like blind now in one eye? Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You'll not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is not very long? Like a week? The eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way! But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest that you use the time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Is Gal going to be like the baddie? I do get the impression that he's going to like turn because we didn't never came back and it's the 10 years of vengeance or something along them lines. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true solstice warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. I'll just keep on going. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. Hmm. I have no idea how much potential they have. Probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at the Zenith Academy, you'll learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors. The magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to cleanse. 
will learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All that will join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is the most prized possession, guaranteeing a light in the darkness places and the measure of the protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn your duties. Train until you can't feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You'll be then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, but it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. I understand it's not what you're hoping for, but it's required for you for the time being. Years of sewing. Sounds a little delightful. That'll be all for today. You'll be spending a lot of time in these halls. You should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You'll go there first thing in the morning. To above is the way to my chambers. There's off limits, of course. And to your right is the dormitories, to make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around and go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. Okay, well, we'll head this way. Scrubbly, scrubbly, scrub, scrub, scrub. Villager. Oh, there you are. Moraine finally decided that you were ready. Okay, so you can't go up there. Or there. Okay. A rack filled with wooden training weapons. You have to be really close to get the prompts. Do you like this climbing? I wasn't expecting it. I say, I, I know, obviously, it was in the um, the demo, but man, that was a while ago. Who are you? A villager. I remember when Erlina and Burgraves were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Ugh, I feel old now. Can I walk? Always have to run. All right, let's head down. Or sewing basics. Yeah. There's save point. Just a bunch of old books. A bunch of old books. Well, books. That's me. That's sale. Drop a save here. That's sewing, I guess. Go to sleep. Sure. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Graves. So, you'll be our trainer? I wish. Alina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. He's received the training sword and we've got the training staff. All right, let's get to work. Yep. 
You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never. Come on, Zhao. Keep up. I... I can do this. Ninety-nine. One hundred. That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break, Alina. We'll see you on the terrace when you're ready. Oh, let's head on. This way. Yep. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? Hells yeah. You should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you started me. I almost had it. Mine's gone too. It's okay. Just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel the current passing in front of you. If the timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One. Two. Three! I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well. But one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and... Alina! Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I'll provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried the sewing kit. Move along now. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have an idea, no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. Okay. Gonna push on a little bit longer. Normally around 30 minutes is where I like to do a um of an episode stop. But uh just while we're in the tutorials and getting the, the story going, we're gonna keep going a little bit longer. Nothing to do here. Bunch of books. Let's just drop a save again. Three save points. Head this way. Let's head out. Probably going to spot something. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know, the three of us can take the one on Rafe Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerie and Zhao were brought to the Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not such a place of the High of the Headmaster to question such things. And neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moira? What about the twins? Boo Graves! Do not judge a sacrifice you can't begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. The first eclipse after the training is complete. 
They will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go to Graves. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. Faster now. Focus and then release. And the longer the toilet is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Its delaying only increases the chances of a world eater. Cleansing always target the strongest dweller known to us. Master, what does that mean to our magic? How do we fight them? Ah. That's why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. It is in these moments only the dwellers' weakness are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The flesh monster just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster. Yes, Valerie? What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who is Moira? Moira. Hmm. That will be all for today. Doesn't want to say. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valerie, wake up! Zale, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right. Let's go. Can't go that way. Hey, look. Ugh, smells good. There's a note. Dear Valerie and Zale, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a fail safe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with celestial willow jam. With the celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up. I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I'll try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try to visit again. But I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Garl. Garl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got the cookie jar. There's a song there somewhere as well. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Ah, you're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we're never so anything good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen, we just have to keep on training hard. And so they trained and they sewed for years. 
and then they trained and sewed some more. Until one day, It's nice, it actually shows you a party at the bottom, right? Zale, that's the one. I can feel it too. Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Probably find he's dead or something. Master, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingle of magic in the air has been building up for a week, for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. Ching. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to the, meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors have just arrived. Perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Erlina, Brew Graves, I'm here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it'll be time for your final test. Ready to go through the basics of magic? Sure. Let's get it done. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. I see break this one. Okay. There's a double hit. Boom. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for sun, Valerie for moon. So, moonerang, I like this move. Press X to deflect. Yeah, this is the move I remember. And Sunball. Charge it, right? Well done. Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? Keep up the pace in battle. You must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment. Keep on varying your actions and you'll find a rhythm appropriate to each battle. One last thing. All act battle actions lock breaking all battle actions, lot breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle. You should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Solstice Strike. So that's, yeah, if I want to do blunt and slicing... Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye on your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Want to review combat basics? Sure thing. Let's get it done. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Use to cycle through available characters. Party members can use their turn in order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. 
And all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they become available again. Okay. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit connects to increase damage. Yeah, we've been doing that. Good. Let's see that one more time. Ouch. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Also, keep going with more hits until you miss. Remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get this little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of an incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Press X as the hit connects to reduce damage. That was too soon. Stay focused. That was too late. Stay focused. There we go. Good. Let's see that one more time. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a timed block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and keep trying. Oh, one more thing. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you will need to switch to a more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get back up at their own, uh, on their own at 50% HP once all KO stars are gone. One KO star is removed at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. All party members go down. It's a game over. Fight and survive until Zale returns. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Okay, we'll get through the exam. Moraine will see you at the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the final test then? Yeah, let's go. Then let us begin. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. We will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Sale. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> so that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I chose the curved blade as it would not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, Blade Dancer. Come on, Valerie. I did it. Now it's your turn. <clears throat> so that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I chose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, Battle Monk. Today, you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please, step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Obtained three tomato clubs. Now, 
with faith in your abilities and purpose. In your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Valerie. Let's just go for it. Okay, we've got a whole bloody dungeon. Okay, ladies and gents, we are going to call this one an episode about 50 minutes. Um, there's probably a dungeon or just a boss up there, but we want to save that one for the next one. So please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help me out. Uh, this will be a full playthrough of Sea of Stars. And a game I've been looking forward to so, so much. Hopefully you're getting the good vibes from it. Um, average lengths will probably range around the 30 minutes normally, not the 50 that we've got now. Some will go longer, some might go a little bit shorter. It just depends on um, when's a good time to stop. But yeah, I'm going to call this one an episode. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next one.